Coach, you were uh, talking about last week. You said, you know, are we going to have offense? You know, that's that was kind of something like, are we going to have enough offense this year? Did you uh, did you like what you saw on uh, against Fresno? Uh, I thought that Fresno State played an excellent game. Their game plan was to try to be disruptive, and they were really successful at that. Hard for us to get in any kind of rhythm. Felt like the ball stuck in players' hands a little bit too long. We needed better ball movement. Um, it was definitely a concern. You know, we had our seniors that we count on uh, each shot 17% for the game. That's pretty unlikely uh, going to repeat itself in the future. But uh, we had some really great showing, I thought, from our freshman twins. And uh, we had Hannah Gilbert with her first start. And I thought she had a real strong showing as well. So we got a lot to build around. And uh, we're still a work in progress. Uh, kind of go into that a little bit. Uh, did did you feel that they were, uh, you know, you guys were getting good shots? What, was it the kind of shots that you guys you guys wanted, like the the, the good percentage shots? Yeah, it really was. Uh, a lot of shots we had to create ourselves. So that's one aspect that I'd like us to change for our next game. Um, we are typically one of the top teams in the nation as far as the Cisco as a team. And obviously, if when you shoot the ball as poorly as we did in that game, uh, you can't be in that number. But at the same time, I feel like the ball needs to move a little bit quicker and not stick in one player's hands quite so long. And that'll create better shot, shot opportunities for us. Uh, so it's a combination of things. But certainly Fresno State had a lot to do with that as well. Kind of kind of moving forward now to uh, this week, then to Loyola Marymount. Um, kind of the biggest, you know, the biggest kind of things you saw, maybe, maybe red flags in the Fresno game that you can uh, tweak moving forward in the season. Well, we gave up a. A few turnovers, costly turnovers, just on simple outlet passes and against their press, which created an easy scoring opportunities for them. Obviously, we lost by 11. We probably gave them five undefended layups. So I, would, I like our chances if we can take better care of the basketball. But to be honest, it's pretty much what I expected for first game. And having three new starters in our starting lineup uh, is, is kind of what I thought would happen. When you talk about assists, when you played college ball, who led the country in assists? Mm. Uh, I did for one year. I did. Does that help you coach? Well, it helps me understand the importance of sharing the basketball and that those are the better teams. When I look at teams like San Antonio Spurs, for instance, uh, what a sweet passing team. And if my team could ever play like that, I would be dancing for joy because that is really what basketball should look like. Is that difficult to coach? Uh, having the skills for all five players on the court at the same time, possessing the same skills and the same vision and the same intention, that part is hard. And maybe it takes you know, 10 or 20 years if you're Tim Duncan of playing with the same guys over and over and over again for that chemistry to really develop. We don't have that luxury. Uh, we got to get it done pretty quickly here. but. I do think it's very difficult, and it is special when you see it come along. So talk about Loyola Marymount. What kind of team do they have this year? Do you know? They're very athletic. They have a point guard who is causing us concern um, in Johnson, De Deanna Johnson, and then a big, uh, Ben Jumbo, who is uh, quite a force on the inside, left-hander. They've got guards that can spread you. They play a lot of, uh, a lot of minutes and not a lot of people. So. If we can get them into foul trouble, that'll be one of our strategies. Um, they press, they run, they, they're well coached. So it'll be a, a challenge for us. Again, a, a team that likes to disrupt defensively by throwing different presses at you. So we'll have to be prepared. All right, so University of Portland, is that Sunday? That is Sunday, 2 o'clock. And, and that's your home opener? It is. We're excited to be on our own Mott Gymnasium, uh, sorry, Mott Athletic Center. Uh, court and certainly it'll be our first time showcasing just as the men are showcasing tonight the new facility and the new floor and all the lights and whistles and what do you know about the University of Portland pilots you know I haven't got to their scout yet it'll be a short turnaround for us but right now my focus is trying to improve my team and uh, trying to get ready for Loyola so all the film I'm watching right now is Loyola I have trouble mixing the two so right. we'll see when we get there all right. thank you Gosh, I actually had one more question. Sorry, Allie. Sure. Um, 
you're talking about the uh, moving the ball like the Spurs. Um, it's quite a it's quite a comparison. Um, <laughs> there is no comparison at this stage. I want to <laughs> assure you. Right. It, but that that's the dream. Right. It got it got me actually to ask a question. Uh, you know, is is that kind of the uh, kind of the mindset with the squad you have? Like like, do you want there to be you know like a John Wooden kind of pass five times before you shoot kind of deal thing? Is that is that kind of the mindset of, of how you want to develop the team? It may not be pass five times. Uh, it might be pass three times, but because we'd like to score a little bit quicker. But yeah, if we could kind of have balanced scoring and everybody share the basketball and the ball moves and it becomes effortless when you can actually see players and the ball moves around the court, you make the defense move. If a player has to dribble, 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 how hard is that to guard? Not very. Uh, so we have to be better moving the basketball. If we are successful in sharing the basketball effectively and, and our skills rise to that level, then I think we're going to be uh, a tough team down the road. Um, is there any team you guys are looking forward to playing this season? Or are you kind of just taking it game by game as you go? Well, we're looking forward to playing on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Every game, I think, is going to be important in our development, and it will be a, a process. Uh, certainly, having as young a squad as we have, it's really you can see growth leaps and bounds every single day. So it's fun to watch. It's frustrating, though, as a coach, because you, you see where they're going. You want there to be there now. But uh, it's going to be a process. I think the players themselves are always interested in trying to do well in conference play. And certainly, that's what our preseason is all about. But if I had to say what they probably dream about at night or what helps them run their suicides, uh, it's probably Northridge.